Hey friends, welcome to Chine Coaching, Rob here. In this video, we're gonna be learning all the basics about machine learning, what it is, and how to get into a career with machine learning. Check it out. Friends, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm really excited for Raj, who's got incredible knowledge and experience on machine learning. And Raj, go ahead and introduce yourself. So, um, hi Rob, thanks for having me here today. Uh, my name is Raj, and uh, currently I'm working as a machine learning engineer at Microsoft. I'm a computer engineer, so I studied computer science back in India. And during my undergrad, I started getting really interested in data science and machine learning. So, you know, I did some projects, I learned some stuff, and then I started my master's degree at UC Berkeley. So my master's was in information management systems, but I've been working a lot on data science and machine learning, and in particular, sort of their uh, focus or their intersection with computer security. So currently at my role in Microsoft, we design machine learning systems to detect like anomalies, phishing, spam email, fraudulent access to networks, and so on. Well, I'm excited for these conversations. We're gonna record a couple other videos as well about machine learning, uh, jobs and scope for that, um, careers, and yeah, just things that are really gonna help you if you guys are interested in it. So be sure to check out the other videos we make with Raj. So let's get started. This video is just gonna be machine learning 101 uh, for people like me who have no idea. So Raj, what is machine learning? Cool. That's the first question that, you know, everyone th thinks of. And like even people who don't know the answer to this question, they're really excited to learn and get into machine learning. Essentially, like in very simple terms, uh, you can think of machine learning as finding a relation between some target and some features. So your target could be uh, something like a prediction uh, and the features could be the data that you have access to. So to give you like a real world example, uh, your target can be the housing price, the price of a house, and your features could be like how many bedrooms does the house have, uh, what street is it located on, how old is it, uh, and so on. So what we are trying to do through machine learning is look at a large number of data points which we have, so those features and the prices of those houses, and try to figure out a relation between those features and that target. The goal is to find out how we can get that target when we know just the features. Essentially, in a nutshell, that is what machine learning is. Machine learning is learning the relation between how those features affect that particular target. And with you guys as the machine learning engineers, are you trying to create some sort of code or algorithm that connects that? Or what do you call the thing that does connect those features? There's like a lot of uh, well-established machine learning algorithms that people use. Uh, and they have like been widely researched and studied. So like regression and classification. Uh, as a machine learning engineer, the, your major job is to take those algorithms and write really optimal code for that. Mm -hmm. So many a times what happens is that in research, you can, in research, you don't worry about optimization. In research, you worry about getting things done and getting them up and running and getting good results from them. But when it comes to like a company like Google or Facebook or Microsoft, and if you're an engineer, you're going to have those systems to be used by real people. So we can't have like hours of downtime. Mm -hmm. So as engineers, what we do is we like design those algorithms in such a way that they can be implemented uh, really efficiently. And then we write those implementations. We uh, That's what we call in technical terms as productionizing it. So something that's up and real. So when you use like a Microsoft service like Azure, probably there is some part of uh, a machine learning system that's going on that's detecting if, you are, if the access that you are making is authorized or not. And that machine learning system, that code to do that has been written by someone like me. Hmm. like as an engineer. Machine learning is such a hot topic. It's a booming industry, definitely the future of things, you know, <laughs> machine learning, analytics, AI, these are all the big buzzwords in America right now. For right. someone who's just interested in kind of checking it out, getting it, what are some helpful resources for machine learning that exist out there right now? You're right, like machine learning. So machine, you can think of it like as a mind map where machine learning is at the center and all the other things that you said. So AI, uh, data science, data analytics, big data, decision making business intelligence, all of these stem from it. So all of these have their heart at machine learning. Mm. Um, I suggest like for people to, you know, uh, you know, if someone wants to, if someone like, you know, the idea appeals to them and they want to get more into it, I will suggest that they start by learning more about machine learning. So there is a very good course by Professor Andrew Ang from Stanford. Uh, it has no code at all. And it does have some heavy math, 
but uh, you know in the in the ml community in the machine learning community andrew ang is very famous for saying if you don't understand it don't worry about it <laughs> so <laughs> yeah that's the that's the course that uh, you know helps you hit the ground running uh, that's what helped me it's like a really good course it gives you an overview of like machine learning the basic algorithms how they work and somewhat of an implementation although it's not coding focused so you know once you know about those algorithms you have a like a pretty good idea of what can and what cannot be done with machine learning so mm-hmm. that's like a good first step but the second step is actually getting your hands dirty and applying them applying the things that you learned to do some kind of project so theoretical work like that course will give you only so much pleasure okay but it's actually really amazing when you see your results popping up in a live dashboard or in the live jupyter notebook so the second step would be uh to look at python libraries for machine learning so that is pandas numpy scikit-learn resources for most of these are available so all of these libraries are open source and resources are available online there's some really good courses on um udemy as well um so i use them so what we can what people should do is like after they've learned the algorithms actually follow through with some projects uh there's a website called kaggle which has tons of data sets for you to play with and explore they're all publicly available so you just download those data sets start up a jupyter notebook and play with that data you know create visualizations as you want do some linear regression try to do some kind of prediction you you might be amazed at um what you find so for example in one of my earlier like my initial experiments i was experiment i was like looking at loan data from a bank and i actually found that there were some features in the data set which were racially and ethnically motivated but my analysis showed that those features actually did not affect the loan repayment rate so we could remove those features and that's like a very good that was an interesting finding hmm. uh so i think like to summarize the steps would be start with something basic like the anti bank course the second step is to get your hands dirty with implementation and the third step is to go to a website like kaggle download some data sets play around and develop that's how you develop your portfolio that's how you you know if you do some work you just put it up on your github uh profile and that's how you develop your portfolio so we'll put some links in the description for all those different things you said the courses and the data sets <laughs> and so that's a new resource for me as well so we'll put all those links <laughs> for you guys so we've talked about resources um some projects you're actually getting to play with the stuff and get your hands on it last thing to wrap this up raj So people who are wanting to kind of prepare maybe to study machine learning hoping for a career or future any other final tips for them and just um going in that direction I'd just like to say that uh you know machine learning is not a career for only those who have studied computer science I know people from all like different uh streams of study like architecture construction civil engineering electrical engineering who've gone on to become data scientists what what's important is especially if you're looking for a career or a job in data science or machine learning in the us is that you demonstrate that you have the skills for it so i'll definitely recommend everyone to take the project seriously once you get your hands dirty with uh you know some of the kaggle projects or kaggle data sets you will be in a position to make your own contributions and do something new which people have not done before and that's going to be really helpful when you look for a job because that's something you'll put on your resume and people will ask you questions about that yeah i think projects to go um you know like projects are the way to go in data science and machine learning awesome well now i feel like i understand the basics i've i've gotten the machine learning 101 this has been this has been awesome uh, you guys be sure to check out the other videos that raj is helping with to go deeper into machine learning and raj thanks so much for for sharing your experience and just some foundational stuff about machine learning my pleasure thanks for having me here rob Yeah, and everyone if this video has been helpful, give it a big like and thumbs up to say thanks to Raj. Don't forget to subscribe to Chai and Coaching. We want to help you guys be successful in your cross-cultural journeys. And thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you guys next time. Cheers.